Okay, folks, here's, here's a quick run through on this module M. <clears throat> so you can see here, I've got my student scores and the lack of a grade here, and we need to generate this automatically. <clears throat> In order to do this, what we need to do is we need to create a VBA macro, and we're going to create, an, actually within the VBA macros, it's going to be particularly a function. To get to the VBA macros, I'm going to press the Alt key and hold that down, and then press the F11 key. Yours may look a little bit like this. I need to place this into this left side panel here as a module. So I'm going to insert a module. I'm going to do that by clicking on insert and then module. And then you can see that module 1 shows up here. And that's what we're working on right now. And I can tell I'm working on that up here at the very top of the title bar, module 1 code. <clears throat> I'm going to create a function and I'm going to call my function the get grade function. My variable, I could have called it anything. It could have been get grade, it could have been get my really good grade, it could have been get my goody goody grade, whatever. But the score is going to be the variable. And again, I can call that whatever I want as well. I'm not going to use a variable with spaces in it and I'll spare you that as well. That variable needs to be declared as some type of a variable of, of some some sort of field and we're going to use the double and then we're going to close that I'm going to press the enter key and notice that now it knows that I'm creating a function. It highlighted, it capitalized the beginning, it added the end function beneath there. I didn't type any of that and I didn't edit this video. This is live. Um, I'm not cutting anything out of here. So the next thing we want to do is we want to generate the rest of our statement here. So we're going to create, just like they said in the instructions, a select case statement. So the select case is going to be for the score, which is the variable at the top. So I'm going to select case score. Oh, look at that. It changed the capitalization as well on select case and it did not change my score. I'm going to press the tab key just to make this look a little bit easier. So the case is going to be, I'm going to start off with less than 65. Okay. Case is less, oh look it did that again. Case is less than 65. I'm going to press return and then tab just to make this look pretty. So if the case is less than 65, my function, which is called get grade, will return a value of F. Okay, I'm going to press return. I'm going to press the backspace key so I can get to another case. So if you use the V lookup, it's kind of the same thing. It's just rolling through the different instances of what might be possible. So the next case is what? Um, let, let, that's going to be the D case. So it's going to be less than some number. So if it's going to be less than 70, let's say, I press the enter key, changes the capitalization, I press the tab, and the get grade gets some sort of <clears throat> some sort of, of of letter. Okay, so equals, we'll give it a D. And then there's going to be some more cases here but also what you can do at the very end is you can add an else case in other words all those other possibilities what do you want it to be so if somebody does something inappropriate in there you want to be able to catch that so you could assume that people are going to enter the scores between 0 and 100 but they might not and so this is where you'd enter that whatever it is you want to for all the other instances the get grade would get something else so you do that by get grade equals you know something else okay so there's some other steps in there I'm missing some of the grades here but that's basically how you create a function that's essentially it I'm gonna leave you with that and I'm gonna quit the video
Okay, so I, uh, sorry about that. I'm going to leave you with this. Um, there's some more logic that you need to add to this, but this is beginning to take you in the right direction. And then you need to be able to implement that function within your spreadsheet. So if you look through the instructions on how to do this, there are some security considerations that you're going to have to enable within Excel in order for this to operate. So just a hint, once you make the changes, you'll probably have to quit Excel and restart it in order for it to show up automatically. Okay, so give that a whirl, and then if you have questions, let me know. Thanks.